guys, Skullcrusher here, and welcome to a tutorial how to get Skullcrusher Ball into Ivan Drive. You're going to have to shoot this arrowhead off of the wall through the ceiling next to Double Tap 2. Pick up the broken arrow and bring it to the room below the bell tower. Now in this room there will be a, a square in the middle of the room which will be illuminated by a purple mist. You will easily see this on the floor as you move into the, this room. You need to knife a zombie on this square and it will bust open and give you a pot as you can see here. Hold square on this object, it will float in the air and say find that is scattered. There will be six keeper heads around the map. The first one's down that tunnel right next to the mule kick then run all the way back to the courtyard through the room you've just been in go to the second story in the courtyard and on this window there will be another keeper skull that's two down so now i need four more the third one is by the rocket pad on the back of this truck the fourth one is by double tap two if you look up in this corner, you will easily see this one. Now, run up the stairs. Take a left by the rocket pad. Take another left. Run along this long walkway. Take another left into Samantha's room and it will be in her toy chest. Now you have found all six skulls. There will be a pattern on the floor and the skulls will be in these circles on the floor. You need to kill, you need to make six crawlers, bring them into this circle, and they will kill it. As you can see here, we're gonna make some crawlers, and the skulls wrap right around the heads and kill the crawlers. Now that's three souls. You need six in total, so here are some more crawlers, and now they're dead. You're going to hear him say some words, but you don't really bother about that. You need to collect these drops that the zombies make after you kill them. It's like a power up. Now shoot that, and it will say some words. And you need to get this correct, otherwise you cannot finish upgrading it. So mine was Griffin, so it's that one. And you need to memorize those patterns. If you come over here, this one's the stag, and in my gameplay, this one's the circle. And the last one was heart, and the heart is right here. One second, right, the heart is right here. So hold square on that. And it looks like the rib cage, which I call it. Now, what you need to do is go back into the room and the patterns will be on the floor that you collected. And in that order, you need to find out which one you need to shoot with your bow to get the upgraded one. So in our gameplay, it was the triangles. The next one was the circle and they will appear right in front of you there and the last one was the one that looked like a ribcage so if you shoot that you will hear his name and you will see the arrow appear through the broken hole in the ground which you made earlier. Pick up the arrow, run down to the anti-gravity room or the pyramid room, whatever you want to call it. Make your way to this chest. Place the arrow in, you'll know what happens because you'll see the arrow and get a max ammo. Now you need to feel zombie souls. It doesn't have to be with a bow, but feed zombie souls to this chest. 
once you see that no more souls have worn into it, you can put your actual bow inside of the chest, as you can see in this gameplay. You put the bow in, it will take around 5 to 10 seconds until you can actually collect the ball. So you can't collect the ball then, but when you go back, you can. So now you've got the ball, you can hold it in and open this void, and it will send the Keeper Souls out. This, this is a really effective ball. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and peace out.